Let's talk today about grounding and interference in CCTV. You can find all this information here in the Ultimate Security Camera Guide. The link is here in the description. And also don't forget to subscribe to this channel, leave your thumbs up, your comments, and hit the bell notification so you can receive more information about videos like that. Okay, so let's take a look here in the screen. You can see that I'm talking about grounding and here I have a diagram with a camera and a DVR, a digital video recorder. And you can see there is also a loop here. So you're gonna have some problems uh, in the image. As you can see here, there are some black bars running on the screen. In the image here, you see with color here, black and white. In any case, you can see the horizontal bars here. And then you need to solve this problem by eliminating this loop. Back here, what you can see is that if you use a multimeter, you can see some difference here, potential difference, meaning uh, you have some voltage here from the camera to your DVR. In this case, I was measuring a camera and a DVR and I could find that there, there is 300 millivolts of uh, voltage here, or is that, that's the same as say 0.3 volts, right? So if there's some voltage here between the camera and the DVR, that's because there is a loop here in the system and you're gonna have a problem like this one. So uh, what's happening here is that the grounding here is not correct. So the camera is grounded, the DVR is also grounded, but there is a loop between them using the grounding. Okay, you gotta solve that and let's see how you can do that. So here is an example of different devices. We have device number one, two, and three. And here, as you can see, they are grounded to a common ground. So that's what you have to do. You can't have device one, two, and three in different grounds, grounding. So you need to ground them at the same exactly point. Uh, if you don't do that, you're gonna have problem like this. Uh, take a look here, you can see device one, two, and three, and then there's a loop between device one and, and two using the ground, also a loop between device two and three using the ground, and you can also have problems between device one and device three also with the ground. So to solve this problem, you can have something like this. As you can see here, the problem brings like some uh, black bars on the screen. You can do the ground just like this one. In this diagram, you can see there is a camera here connected to a pole and the camera is using a coaxial cable to send the video to a DVR and the DVR is grounded here in the same ground as the camera. So if they're grounded at the same point using the same system, there is no difference between uh, the DVR and the camera, there's no voltage between them because everything is going to the common ground. And you must do that. You can also do this with your power supply. Uh, some power supply, professional ones especially, there is a place you can ground. And also that happens with DVR. Some DVR comes with a place that you can ground the DVR and also the camera or the pole that you're using to install your camera. And there are also other ways to do that. You can eliminate uh, one of the sides. Let's say, for example, the camera here, you can use something to insulate the camera from the pole or for, for from the building. So you don't have two points of ground. Let's say you can't have the same point of grounding for cameras and DVRs. So you got to insulate one of them. Either you ground the camera or you ground the DVR, but no both at the same time. So you don't have the problem with the ground. So uh, it's easier to insulate the camera. You can use some material here to insulate from the building or from the pole. And then you're not gonna have the problem with the interference and with the, the voltage between the devices. So you have no loop, you have no ground loop. It also helps if you have some separation between electrical cables and coaxial cables. As you can see here, 30 centimeters is separating the electrical cables from the coaxial one. Then you don't have electrical or electromagnetic interference. 
Something else that helps is to invert the plug. As you can see here, I have pin one and two. They're inverted here in the second picture, but that happens only with uh, alternate current, right? Doesn't work with 12 volts DC, for example, just work with VAC. As you can see here, I'm using a power supply with 24 VAC and that can help to eliminate the interference. And some technician use the trick, this trick to eliminate the interference and to el eliminate the ground loop. So you can try that too, right? But don't forget, you need to use the separation of cables, electrical cables from coaxial cables, also insulate the camera uh, from the, the system uh, using some material here to do the insulation or you can do the proper ground so you can eliminate ground loops. There are also some devices, I, I will have the link here in the description, some devices that can help eliminate ground loops, okay? So just click here in the link to the description, you can see more information about that. And also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, leave your thumbs up, your comments, and click the bell to receive more notification. See you in the next video.